everyone, we are excited to share Chapter 16, Representation of Women in the Arts and Media, as part of our eggs, Gender in Society subject. I'm Miguel Mabini, accompanied by my fellow groupmates, Rain Faeldonia and Mark Andre Mejares. Together, we form Group 8 from Base HM 2A at ASU CIT Calibo Campus. The way women are shown in art and media has been talked about a lot, from old paintings to today's advertisements. Women are often treated as objects. This chapter looks at how this happened and why it matters. We will see how men often control how women are shown and how this affects society's view of women. These are the lesson objectives. Female objectification in Western art. In Western art, women have often been portrayed in ways that objectify them, like in Rubens, the judgment of Paris, reinforcing societal views of female subservience and beauty ideas. Male gaze, Edouard Manet's contrast. Manet's paintings show women as strong and confident, challenging the idea that they should be passive. The women in his works look directly at the viewer and stand tall, showing they have their own power. Male gaze, Edouard Manet's contrast. Manet's paintings show women as strong and confident, challenging the idea that they should be passive. The women in his works look directly at the viewer and stand tall, showing they have their own power. This makes people rethink what it means to be feminine and how power works in society. Women in advertising. Ads often show women as just objects of desire, pushing impossible beauty standards and making women feel they have to fit in. Women in the film and the film industry. In Hollywood, men have more speaking roles than lead characters than women. Only a small percentage of directors are women, which means more stories are male-dominated. This lack gender balance affects the kinds of stories we see on screen. Women and equalization. Movies and ads sometimes make women overly focus on looks and sexiness, which sets impossible standards. This can cause problems like trouble concentrating, eating disorders, feeling bad about oneself, and feeling sad. Says the American Psychologist Association, it affects how we see ourselves and others. Objectification in media. Even though people try to empower women in media, society's old rule and the strong beauty industry often make women follow limited ideas of beauty when creating content. Impact of unrealistic beauty ideals. Naomi Wolf talks about the beauty myth, which hurts women by setting impossible beauty standards, making them feel less confident and limiting their opportunities. Movement wants to add celebrate all kinds of beauty, so women feel empowered to be themselves and chase their dreams without strict rules. Beauty and the Western Ideal Beauty standards in the Philippines, influenced by colonial history, marginalize indigenous features and promote colorism. This leads to practices like skin whitening and hair straightening, prioritizing Eurocentric ideals over authentic Filipino beauty. Reclaiming the media Supporting women in media means giving them equal opportunities for access, funding, and training to share diverse stories. These challenges harmful narratives and fosters a media environment where diverse voices are valued and respected. Topic application issue in the Philippines. Think about how women are shown in the media, often just a pretty faces or object of desire. This can make women feel like they need to look a certain way to be valued. Solution. Imagine a campaign called Beauty Beyond the Stereotypes in the Philippines. The organization will be used social media platforms to spread positivity towards women. Also, we will travel around the Philippines inviting speakers to have inspiring speeches. We will not limiting to women but also teach other people to be kind and respectful towards women. Moreover, these plans will be all possible through volunteers and sponsorship. 
reflection, arts and media towards women have been cruel and sad throughout the years. Women are used for visual pressure, experience unequal rules from media like movies, and been pressured due to the beauty standards. Media are also have influence and shape women's overall persona, from skin whitening to the hair straightening. They had to these things in order to fit the beauty standards of society. Unfortunately, the media is changing. Use a platform to help and support women. That ends our report. We hope that you have enjoyed and learned something on our topic. Once again, we are the Group 8 and thank you for watching.